your mom, does, does she ever sleep when when Gator football and, and is going on? You've ever playing? I mean, what's her schedule like? I can't even imagine. It's crazy. She's got three kids, and she has she's doing it all on her own because my dad's always working and doing with all the team, and she's like trying to be a mom to like those 100 players over there too. So she's just she's really busy, but she does a good job. She's I can't even imagine if she sleeps at night or not. <laughs> Saturdays, Saturday morning in your house on game day, what's it like? Okay, well, we have probably 10 relatives sleeping in our house, so we all wake up, we're all rushing around eating breakfast and trying to get get all dressed and ready to go, and we all pile in the car, the big Yukon or Suburban or whatever it is, and we just go tailgate and we're all together, and it's just it's really stressful, though, like everyone's nervous, but I mean, it's fun. It, I know you said stressful, nervous, and fun in the same sense <laughs> describing tailgating. I don't know how that all fits together, but it does. It's just, I guess at the end of the day, for the most part, it's fun. But it's just the beginning, like we're all just, just waiting to see what happens. Is, is your dad a different guy on, say, Monday than he is on Thursday or Friday? Yeah. <laughs> well, what's Thursday different? or Friday, he's, he's quiet, and he just, he kind of gets the game face on. He's more like focused and just ready to go but Monday he, like he comes home late and we don't really see much of him but you can tell the, the tension is definitely building as the week goes on. And how about Sunday after a win? What's that like? Just relaxing but I mean he's back to work so it's just kind of like relief almost just like thank God because after a loss it's just not my house is not where you want to be after a loss. What, what's it? It's just like disappointment. He just he puts it all on himself. So he sits there and he just is not someone that wants to talk. Or so you just kind of avoid him on Sundays. You just kind of sit there with him and you just kind of like bring up other things. That's what I do at least. So he just kind of hangs out and doesn't really say much. After the Georgia game last year, you didn't want to bring up them running on the field. And oh my gosh, he had nothing to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is it, I, I read this, is it true that you cried after one of his losses because you knew how upset he was going to be? Yeah. How old were you then and when was that? Um, I actually remember that when it was Air Force at Notre Dame. It's just because you know like all the pressure and you just understand. Like, it just has to be his kid, you know? Mm -hmm. When did your first college letter arrive, and who was it from? Um, it was last year, or my junior year, like right before club season, and it was from South Carolina. But that wasn't one of the schools that I really started talking to. So it was just like a, I'm sure they sent it to like 500, 100 other people, but. Is it still exciting yeah. to, oh, yeah. to get dad, that first letter? We were so excited, and my dad was so happy when I got it. <laughs> what I did still he say? have it. He just, I think he really started to think how weird it was because he's always on the other side of recruiting. But for him to like sit here and watch me be recruited, it was just so different. But he loved it. It was exciting for him. Uh, you mentioned him being on the other side of recruiting. What, did you talk to him? What was it like for him when you guys spent the two days up in Atlanta at Georgia Tech? He asked a lot of questions. like, And he knew exactly what to ask because he's heard of those a zillion times. So, And he just he kept telling me just to wait and like wait and see. And, um, what I really fell in love with, and he was right. Like, he was a big help. Dad. Do you almost feel bad for the the co coach Shemansky? Is that us <laughs> getting grilled <laughs> like that? You almost feel bad for him. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny though to sit there and watch him because it's just two coaches talking, and it was cool. And uh, tell everybody what was it about Georgia Tech that you liked so much? Um, just everything. I love their coach. He's a lot like Jeff, so I'm really. He's just really like family guy. He's really just nice and just happy. Well, what I've seen is happy, and he's just really like friendly. And the team, I love the team. The campus was awesome. I love Atlanta. Just everything was so perfect. I just I fell in love with it. Everyone went 15 contacts. Who's your favorite Gator player or players? Um, I really like Tebow. I got to know his family really well. I went out to LA with my dad this summer and hung out with the Tebows for probably three days in a row. And I really like them and Timmy's awesome. And, um, Percy, I love watching Percy play. It's just, it's so exciting. I love Chris Leak. I've always loved Chris Leak. 
and Brandon Seiler, all those guys that left, Reggie Nelson. I don't know, I have a bunch of favorites. I can't just pick one. After the LSU game a couple years ago, um, it, I think it was the Sunday afterwards, Chris Lee came over to my house and was just sitting on the couch. And Nate, my nine-year-old brother, he was probably, what, like six or seven at the time, he just walked up to him and was like, why'd you play so bad last night? Because I guess we had a rough game, but Nate just came out and like asked him why he played so bad, and it was really funny. Was but, your dad there? And if so, what did oh, yeah, we were out? all there, and we all just kind of were like, Nate. <laughs> it was funny, though. Um, fill in the blank. Tim Tebow is. Amazing. <laughs> T.O. Terrell Owens. We met him. Adam Sandler. He's really cool. We really liked him. What was Adam Sandler like? He was really cool. He was really funny and just relaxed around us. Like We walked in there and talked to him for an hour, and he's just really like... He's, he's really funny, just like he is in the movies. That's exactly how he is. And um, After the national championship, a couple months later, he sent my dad a bottle of champagne and like a note. Like, he's just really cool. We really liked him a lot. And we we like still keep in contact with him a little bit, so. Have you met James Bates? Yes. They're buddies, you know. He, oh, yeah. Yeah, he, um, they, Sam has had him in a couple movies. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Waterboy and like, stuff like that, yeah. He's over at the house, he's in our batting cage sometimes. And, him and my, his son and my brother are pretty good friends, so. Okay. He's really funny, I like James Bates a lot. Guys. I had a bunny. bunny. <laughs> I had a dog, Crystal, for like 11 years when mm -hmm. we were in um, Colorado and Indiana. Um, your favorite gear, cheer? Um, it's great to be a Florida Gator. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Uh, the craziest thing fans have shouted at you while you play volleyball. Oh, uh, at the, I didn't actually see this, but at the GHS game, I have a good friend, Amy Howe, who goes to GHS, and she like warned me of a sign that was going to be there, and that game is really like intense. So um, it was like a big poster, I guess, and it had a picture of my dad, I think, and it just said, Daddy can't save you now, and my mom got a hold of it and ripped it to shreds like before I even saw it, so I don't know. I didn't see it, but it was there. That's probably the craziest thing. And when you guys won that match, how did it feel? Just great. I was just like, I don't care. <laughs> it was awesome. Did they make so, it even better? No one did? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Did your mom ever talk to you about that? Um, not before. I don't even think she wanted me to know about it before, but afterwards she, she told me that she got a hold of it and <laughs> got away with it as soon as she could. The number seven, is there any significance to it? Um. I've just always been number seven, like club volleyball. Last year I wasn't because Kelsey was, but I just, I don't know, I just always liked it. Playing with Gigi, what's that going to be like? It's cool. Like I was worried about it at first, but she's, I really like playing with her. We, we can talk really well and we kind of, just because we're sisters, we know each other really well, so it's really easy to play with her. And I, she's really, she's cool to play with. I like it. That, so. Do you ever hit your dad on court? <laughs> yeah. Is he any good? He cheats. Like it's not even <laughs> fun when you play with him. He just picks it up and throws it at you, and you lose every time. It's just not fair. So but it's like those guys we, in golf that pick up the ball. And throw yeah, <laughs> but worse because it's just not even. I mean, we try, we try to get him to follow rules, but there's just no. He doesn't care. He just does anything to win, and even that means like throwing the ball at your head as hard as he can. He does it. We tried though. Do you have a little? Uh, a little bit. Oh, a little yeah. Bit. yeah. Yeah, it comes from Jeff, too. Like, he just, they really made me really competitive, like, over the years. And that's where I get that from, Jeff and my dad, definitely. So in the same room, the three of you, there's a whole lot of... Oh, man. We could not. <laughs> we don't play games. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs>